Well, it has been one of the more unique, uh, complicated baseball seasons we have had in recent memory, and it could all come to an end tonight as the L.A. Dodgers will try to win their first World Series since 1988. We are joined once again by Ben Nicholson-Smith and Arden Zwelling. It is Game 6. It is Blake Snell against Tony Gonsolin. And Ben, let's start with Snell, who was terrific in Game number 2, nine strikeouts, but did not complete Uh, Five innings in that start. It's been a while since Blake Snell has completed six innings in a game. But let's look at the game plan here for the Rays because their best relievers in the World Series haven't really been all that great. So what do you look at with Snell and maybe what happens after him in game six tonight? Yeah, it's an interesting setup. And and definitely having Snell on the mound is a good situation for the Rays. But I don't think they're getting innings from him. And I don't think the Rays expect to get many innings from a guy who has topped out at five and two-thirds innings all year. So this is not going to be the, the day that he goes six. He's going to be out of the game relatively early. And from what Kevin Cash was saying, the Rays' game plan is to get an early lead, something that they have not been able to do so far against the Dodgers. But if they can get an early lead, then they can start mixing and matching. And you go to Aaron Loop for a couple outs. You go to Thompson if you have the right matchup. Fairbanks, obviously, Castillo, Anderson, those guys are big parts of the bullpen plan. So even though Snell is starting the game and pitching some very high leverage innings, some very important innings, I think if he goes three or four, that's probably you know a pretty good outcome for the Rays if they have the lead handed over to the bullpen. Yeah, and I like this point in a playoff series because like there's no more hijinks, right? There's no more mystery. Like let's just throw your best guys. It's like for the Rays, it's do or die time. Every inning has to be managed exceptionally carefully and has to be managed like it could be the Rays last because who knows it could be um so as Kevin Cash if you're having any doubts about Blake Snell on a potential matchup in the fourth inning even um even as early as that in any given situation you should probably err on the side of caution it's always better to take a pitcher out um a few batters too early than a few batters too late uh, and that's particularly true in an, an elimination game so look Leverage spot presents itself early. You need to manage that inning as if it's the ninth. Bring in Diego Castillo. Use one of your best relievers. Um, And even on the other side as well, offensively, if you need to pinch hit early because it's something the Dodgers are doing and because the the game script is kind of indicating that that's what gives you the best chance to win, then you got to do that. So in a funny way, uh, you know, these games kind of become easier to to predict uh, from, from our standpoint here. Ben, uh, Dodgers manager Dave Roberts says that three pitchers are not going to be available tonight. Clayton Kershaw, Julio Arias, and Walker Bueller, who will be saved for a Game 7 if there is a Game 7. So let's play a hypothetical game here that the Dodgers are up a run or two in the ninth inning, and they're trying to close out their first World Series in a while. Blake trying to save the last game. Kenley Jansen is there. Who do you think Roberts goes to in a save opportunity in the ninth inning tonight? I think it's Trinan, even though, you know, he pitched three in a row in in the last uh, three games. And that kind of shows that the Dodgers are willing to go to him in big spots. He got that save in game five. I think he would be the the first choice. And I don't even think that Kenley Jansen will be the number two choice. I mean, let's say it goes to extra innings, for example, and and they're trying to close things out in the 10th or 11th. I think we'd see Dustin May before we see Kenley Jansen. I mean, Jansen was on the mound when the Rays came back in that epic game four. And his stuff didn't look good. The Rays, you know, I know it's, it wasn't just Jansen. I mean, there was the mistake in center field by Taylor. There was the miscatch by Smith at the plate. But Jansen let two runners on, and he let, uh, you know, that, that single go up the middle. I mean, I, I don't think that the Dodgers have a lot of trust in him. So I think he would be the number three option. Yeah, I don't think that the, the Dodgers care about roles um, at all. And I don't think they're going to care about them now <laughs> in game six or game seven with the possibility of winning your first World Series in, in three decades. So, yeah, I, I don't think that anybody's going into this game as the quote unquote closer. Or anybody's going to be in that bullpen thinking, all right, if the ninth inning comes around and, you know, it's three runs or less and we've got the lead, I'm going to be the guy. I think the, the Dave Roberts is going to manage to leverage. He's going to manage to the game and, and the way that it flows the the one thing i'll kind of have an eye on um is bruce dark ratterall which is who's somebody that we haven't heard much from in this series he had some really big moments in the nlcs but we've only seen him twice so far um in the world series and and maybe that indicates that the rogers the the dodgers don't love how he matches up with the rays maybe um they think that a young guy is still prone to volatility uh and maybe he hasn't quite earned that trust yet um all i know is his arm's electric 
So uh, while I, we know we're going to see the vets, we know we're going to see Blake Trinan and, and Kenley Jansen at, at some point in, in big spots uh, before the end of this thing, I'm going to be looking out to, to see how Dave Roberts uses the young gun. Uh, and, and if there's a big spot, maybe even earlier in the game, if Tony Gonsolin runs into trouble in the fourth or fifth, maybe Gratterall is the guy that can get him out of that. Well, the Tampa Bay Rays have been here before. They faced elimination, beat the Yankees, faced elimination, beat the Astros. If they can win tonight and avoid elimination, we will have a game seven, fingers crossed, in the World Series.